Now we'll look at two examples of simplifying expressions involving integers. To simplify an expression, we follow the order of operations outlined here. Notice there are four steps in the order of operations. Step one, we simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols. Looking at our expression, we have two sets of grouping symbols. We have the outer brackets and the inner parentheses. So because we're supposed to simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols first, the first step is to simplify within these parentheses. Notice within the parentheses, we have an exponent of two as well as subtraction. So referring back to the order of operations, notice how we simplify exponents before we add and subtract. So for our first step, we want to simplify the square of negative three. So the given expression is equal to two minus five times the quantity one plus six times the quantity. The square of negative three means we have two factors of negative three, which equals negative three times negative three, which equals positive nine. So within the parentheses, we have nine minus four. We're still simplifying within the parentheses. The next step is to perform the subtraction. So we have two minus five times the quantity one plus six times nine minus four equals five. Now we've simplified within the innermost parentheses, but we still have these brackets, which are also grouping symbols. So we're still on step one of the order of operations. Now we simplify within the brackets. Notice within the brackets, we have multiplication as well as addition. So while it might be tempting to find the sum next, that would not be correct because looking at the order of operations, notice how we multiply and divide before we add and subtract. So within the brackets, our next step is to find this product. So we have two minus five times the quantity one plus six times five is 30. Still simplifying inside the brackets, we now find the sum. So we have two minus five times 31. So finally, we're down to two operations. We have subtraction as well as multiplication. And once again, notice how we multiply and divide from left to right before we add and subtract. So the next step is to find this product. So we'd have two minus five times 31 is equal to 155. Then finally, we have one operation left. We have subtraction, which notice how is step four of the order of operations. Add, subtract from left to right. So two minus 155 equals negative 153. I should mention if it's helpful, we could rewrite two minus 155 as two plus negative 155. But of course, the result is still negative 153. Let's look at a second expression that's similar to this expression. Again, the directions are the same. We want to evaluate the given expression. So step one, simplify within the innermost parentheses or grouping symbols. So we simplify within these parentheses here. Within the parentheses, again, we have an exponent of two and addition. And therefore, within the parentheses, we simplify the exponent first. So we have six plus two times the quantity negative three minus four times the square of negative one equals negative one times negative one, which is positive one. So within the parentheses, we have one plus eight. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, notice that one plus eight is nine. So we have six plus two times the quantity negative three minus four times nine. We're still in step one, but now we simplify within the brackets, which are grouping symbols. Notice within the brackets, we have subtraction and multiplication. Again, just to review, notice how we multiply and divide before we add and subtract. So the next step is to find this product. So we have six plus two times the quantity negative three minus four times nine is equal to 36. So inside the brackets, we have negative three minus 36. Still simplifying inside the brackets. 
negative 3 minus 36 equals negative 39. So we have 6 plus 2 times negative 39. We have addition and multiplication. And just as before, we multiply and divide before we add and subtract. So the next step is to find this product. A positive times a negative is negative, and therefore 2 times negative 39 equals negative 78. And then finally, our last step, we find this sum, negative 6 plus negative 78, which if we went or two, we could write as 6 minus 78. Either way, we get negative 72. So these are two very good examples of verifying that we have a good understanding of the order of operations, as well as operations involving integers. I hope you found this helpful.